Boom. What's going on everyone? My name is Tom and for today's video I'm going to be talking about how to add muscle mass. So this is going to be a informational slash guide video for those who are beginners or just want to understand about bodybuilding. And at the end of the video you guys will become very knowledgeable when it comes to building muscle, maintaining muscle mass, and um, the nutrition aspect. You know, how to eat healthy, what's the proper foods, and what's the, the food that you should be avoiding right so with that being said let's dive right into this topic so number one thing is your food your calories your nutrition overall right so nutrition is critical when it comes to building muscle right if you're in a severe calorie deficit you cannot build muscle that way muscle or building muscle comes from a surplus of calories the food that you consume will build the muscle right and the quality of the food that you go for determines how much muscle you're going to build and how healthy uh, your body is going to be at the end of the day so nutrition is critical right you want to strive for healthy nutritious foods because the healthier the foods the more nutritious the foods are the better and, and efficient process of building muscle will be right because if you're deficient in vitamins and minerals it's going to be very hard for you to build muscle and to maintain that muscle mass right your testosterone will dip your hormones will dip everything won't work properly so as a result uh, you may lose muscle mass and experience low testosterone and low hormone levels therefore leading you to a difficult time to build muscle or to to be a bodybuilder right it's very difficult to bodybuild when you're deficient in a lot of vitamins minerals and calories so make sure that you are eating enough right and if the goal is to put on a lot of size a lot of muscle you guys need to be in a calorie surplus so in order to find out your calorie surplus or calorie maintenance phase you guys need to track your macros and your calories okay so i would recommend doing this for about a week maybe two weeks to understand your baseline of calorie intake and then from there you change or alter your calorie intake you know for for the weekly basis because you don't want to be in a calorie deficit for like you know two days out the week you want to stay in a constant calorie surplus to continually build muscle day by day night by night you know so on and so forth right so nutrition is very critical uh the calorie intake is very critical and the quality of food okay so and timing right uh you want to prioritize like your carbs before your workout make sure you have carbs after your workout make sure you have plenty of protein and that you're striving for healthy sources of fats such as avocados fatty fish eggs things to that nature um the nutrition controls your hormones and your testosterone and all of that is linked together in a way to help with weight loss with combating fat gain and to help build muscle so if your hormones are out of whack out of balance then everything else that i'm going to mention later on won't really help okay so make sure you dial in your diet and nutrition and you're staying in calorie surplus you don't want to stay in a severe calorie surplus because you will become obese and that will hinder your testosterone or hormones as well so make sure you stay in a slight calorie surplus and go from there i have many many guides on bulking and lean bulking and calorie surplus and things of that nature everything will be linked down in the description of uh, its in-depth guides it's a text format instead of a video so you guys could have a better understanding when it comes to body um right <clears throat> now let me explain a lean bulk a lean bulk is a slight calorie surplus but you're not eating absolutely anything you're just eating very nutritious foods to um, properly nourish the body right while getting a little bit of weight so that's it and a dirty bulk is when you eat absolutely anything in order to gain weight or to gain mass it doesn't matter what it takes the goal the end goal is just to be big at the end of the day so if you want to hurt your health go for a dirty bulk but if you want to stay um healthy and you if you want to do it the optimal way a lean bulk is the way to go okay so that's how you build muscle mass in the first place okay by eating in a calorie surplus focusing on healthy nutritious foods and number two is your workouts okay now your workouts cause damage to the muscle right 
um, workouts are needed in order to grow muscle mass, okay? So, first and foremost, you guys need progressive overload. Progressive overload will stimulate your muscles in a greater degree to cause damage, right? Or to cause further damage, right? So, if you're doing the same routines every single week, right, you won't progress in muscle building. You just won't because your body has adapted to those conditions. So, what I've just mentioned, the progressive overload will essentially push your body beyond the threshold, therefore leading to more muscle gains. So last week and the, the next week, you guys need to work out harder each and every time if you're wanting to progressively build muscle. So that could mean that you could increase your reps, increase the weight, uh, add more time under tension, so on and so forth. Bodybuilding techniques, bodybuilding methods. You want to go about that when it comes to um, trying to stimulate the muscle to a greater degree, okay? So, and this is where many people uh, don't really prioritize their their uh, potential of building muscle because a lot of people do the same routines and or their intensity isn't all there because they're on their phones majority of the time or they're just spacing out or they're really not into the workout, okay? So, your workout intensity really matters. If you're really trying to be serious about building muscle or being a bodybuilder, you guys need intensity. You need to really tax the muscle. You really need, really need to put your mind into the workout session. You need to feel the muscle working. This is known as mind to muscle connection. And if you don't have that, it's going to be very difficult to build muscle, okay? Especially if you're trying to grow bigger, add real mass, okay? So you need workout intensity. You need workout methods, techniques. You need form. You need form and technique. You need all of that. You need everything what I've just mentioned in order to progressively um, build muscle, you know, on a month-to-month -month basis, year-to-year -year basis, okay, people? You need to have consistent workouts, right? Maybe three times out of the week is good, but if you're doing one time out of the week, that is not enough, okay? So you need to train each body group at least about two times or three times a week depending on what type of uh, muscle group it is and how frequent you train it like if you're doing it like one day then the next day or one day and then a couple of days off then the next time you're going to train it that's understandable right so just understand uh the soreness and and the recovery aspect okay and that comes to my third one and that is your sleep sleep is so important when it comes to everything okay and i and i mean everything sleep will or affects your hormones, your testosterone, your weight loss, your weight gain, your mental state, your physical state, your power, your stamina, so on and so forth. The list goes on and on and on and on. When you are sleeping, that's when the body replenishes and repairs itself from the damages you have caused and what the body has to do throughout the days, right? The body has to produce hormones. The body has to regulate the, the hormones. They have to do whatever they're they're intended to do but if you're not having a proper sleep on a night-to-night -night basis then your hormones and testosterone will be hindered therefore that will hinder or impact your potential building muscle and trying to lose fat and things to that nature so with that being said sleep is one of those crucial things that you really need to prioritize if you're trying to become a serious bodybuilder or if you're trying to be serious about adding mass to your frame or you know stuff like that right you need to be serious about every everything everything when it comes to bodybuilding bodybuilding is not easy this is a this is a sport okay this is not a lifestyle this is like a sport this is very fucking tedious okay people so proper sleep is the key okay so like i just said if you have hindered sleep then you're gonna have hindered performance you're gonna have hindered testosterone and you have hindered uh, hormones therefore it's going to be very difficult to build muscle, to maintain the muscle, and yeah, so it's not a good look if you have a poor sleeping schedule. So here's my recommendation. Have a proper sleeping schedule on a night-to-night -night basis, week-to-week -week basis, on a year-to-year -year basis. Proper sleep is needed for the human body, right? It is a requirement. It is not even essential. It is a fucking requirement, people, okay? I cannot stress that enough. So if you have a hard time sleeping, try using some supplementations try smoking a little you know but um get rid of the electronics get rid of the phones before you go to bed and stuff like that but just make sure that you have a good deep 
quality sleep on a night to night basis, right? Especially if your workouts are hard or intense and if you're eating a lot and stuff like that, your body needs that sleep and needs that rest and needs to repair itself. It needs to replenish all the hormones and testosterone that has been used up from the exercising and from just going throughout the days. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you want to rest or recover for about two, maybe three days out of the week, right? You don't want to be working out like seven days out of the week because you have no time to recover. And that comes to my last point, and that is overworking. A lot of people overtrain or overwork out, and it's a real thing. But a lot of people think that, you know, um, it's not a real thing because the body can become adapted and it could, you know, push itself a little bit further and further and further until the wheels falls off, essentially, right? Which is not the case. Because if you're trying to become a... If you're trying to become a serious bodybuilder and become one of the most efficient bodybuilders out there, working out seven days out of the week is not ideal. It is not optimal for muscle growth, okay? Like I said, the body needs the rest and recovery. It needs to repair itself and replenish itself. So you need to allow the body to have time to to rest on its own without any type of stimulation or any, any or anything to that nature you need to lie down on the bed or on the couch and completely rest okay and overtraining symptoms are feeling sore all the time feeling weaker by the day or by the week not seeing any progress and or your mental state is affected or you have an obsession of trying to chase a goal that won't end you know what i'm saying so if you're constantly like in a calorie deficit or if you're constantly like lifting weights you're causing so much damage to the point where it cannot repair itself efficiently or optimally therefore it won't grow as you are wanting so that's why overtraining um should be a thought behind your head you know like you don't want to go to the gym and annihilate your muscles thinking that that will grow the mass no people you need to stimulate not annihilate okay now you need to stimulate your muscles and uh and uh and uh in a fashion where it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be a painful and not enjoyable because that's the whole thing of working out or becoming a bodybuilder. It is not fun nor enjoyable. It is painful. It really puts you on your ass and really, uh, you know, knocks you on the head and makes you realize that reality, life, is much harder than we actually think it is, and we take a lot of things for granted, and that's what bodybuilding does, kind of teaches you, you know, if that makes any sense, but yeah, people, um, alright, so let's recap, in conclusion, you gotta train, you gotta eat, you gotta sleep, and then you gotta repeat, those four things, okay, train, eat, sleep, and repeat. And it's all you need, okay? So your training needs to be harder and intense. You need to stay consistent with that, okay? You need to have progressive overload. I have uh, guides if you need help on that. Go check out the link in the description. Now you need to eat, okay? Eating is very important. If you're trying to grow a mass, if you're trying to become bigger, you guys need to stay in a calorie de uh, surplus, not a deficit. Deficit means you're trying to become shredded. If you're trying to grow more muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus and strive for healthy, nutritious foods for optimal growth and, of course, for your health. And the last one, or uh, second to last, is sleep. Sleep is crucial for replenishing hormones and testosterone and repairing the damage you have caused in the gym, right? Without sleep, you won't grow. So sleep is very important. The last one is repeat or staying consistent. Consistency is the key. Okay, if you're not consistent with this process, with these processes on a day-to-day -day basis, then you won't see the results you're wanting, right? Or that, that you're expecting. One day out of the week training very hard won't do the job, right? Or you think that if I could work out one, if I could work out hard one time throughout the week and just ignore all the other days when it comes to intensity and, and bodybuilding methods and stuff like that, it won't do the job. You need to stay consistent with working out intense, working out hard, and pushing yourself each and every time, right? Like I said, progressive overload. Just because we did a hard, intense workout session last week doesn't mean you don't have to do it the next week or the next following weeks. Yes, you need to do that each and every single week, each and every single day when it comes to training 
each and every muscle group within your body, okay? So that is that, people. And let's talk about supplementations. This is the last thing I'm going to be discussing, okay? So supplementations when it comes to adding muscle mass is preferred, but it's not needed. It could it could be utilized in a in benefit beneficial matter because when it comes to building muscle protein is the king obviously for um repairing itself because protein repairs uh the damages you have caused and it contains calories obviously so that is that so you guys could use protein powder or protein shakes um uh, pre and post workouts to help with recovery and to get in some calories right you guys could also use testosterone boosters or testosterone supplements to help aid in regulating your hormones and testosterone. Like I said earlier in the in the video, that hormones and testosterone are all linked together when it comes to building muscle and to lose fat and when it comes to your energy levels, performance, and things of that nature. So if you have hindered um, testosterone and or hormone levels, right, then the the process of adding muscle will be very difficult if 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 impossible right so you guys like i said could use supplement boosters or uh i mean testosterone boosters or testosterone supplements in order to help regulate and increase and optimize your hormones and testosterone so if you guys are interested in any of those go check out Centra peak um, the link is in the description. They are one of the best testosterone supplement companies out there that provides the requirement or required vitamins and minerals and nutrients that really optimize testosterone hormone levels. And they added in some effective and proven um, herbal ingredients that are that were studied to um, or that are intended to and studied. Um, to help with optimizing testosterone hormone levels, such as ashwagandha, rhodiola, and um, ginseng, and some others, right? And um, that's pretty much it, people. Now, of course, you want to try to avoid plastics, try to avoid microwavable foods, try to avoid, you know, stuff like that, because plastic will hinder hormones, if you guys don't know anything about that. Um... You know, the BPA, the toxic environment, the toxic, you know, things that we consume. You know, the, like, this is not plastic. But let's just say if this was plastic, that would be bad for your health. But you wouldn't even know about it, right? That's why I'm mentioning it. So if you're really trying to be serious about, like, uh, or if you're trying to become, like, a serious bodybuilder, pay attention to every little thing when it comes to, like, what you're doing and, and how you're handling it. Because everything will affect you. Especially if you do it in a uh you know improper manner like you know if you're if you're making like fucking food in a plastic thing every single day morning to night you know you're going to hinder your your hormones because plastic is linked with hormone um uh plastic is linked to hormone uh i don't even know what to call it like it interrupts the, the hormones, what I'm trying to say, if you do it in an excessive manner. But that's it, people. I know this video was long, but hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. It would definitely show me that you guys learned something. Let me comment down below. Questions, comments, or concerns. And subscribe for more.